A New Jersey artist is taking the painful reminders of the damage caused by Sandy and turning them into beautiful works of art. News 12 New Jersey's John Bathke has his story from the Jersey Shore. See this I can use. Roddy Wildman is discovering the possibilities where others may only see something to be thrown away. <laughs> Wildman is creating these starburst formations from wooden debris that he's found along the New Jersey shoreline since Sandy. Rubble from the storm that touched his heart and his home. This is the north end of Ocean Grove. This is your home? This is uh, my home. I live five blocks away from here. This community was battered six months ago. Boards from storm-tossed buildings can still be found embedded in sand. Yeah, that's a good piece. It's a lot of surface that I can work with. His finished pieces draw you in like the eye of a hurricane. This one is from Lavalette. This is from um, a pile that I, I got in a Lavalette. You remember um, where every one of them I came remember from? where every single piece. Uh, I pick the pieces up for a reason. Um, I don't just pick up any materials. I, I look for specific things and colors and patinas. Wildman, a former carpenter who recently opened Torch Gallery in Belmar, hopes his art is turning the painful memories of Sandy into a symbol of the recovery in Belmar. John Bathke, News 12, New Jersey. That is absolutely gorgeous. I love his work. For more information on Wildman's art and torch gallery, log on to the numbers and links section of news12.com.